When you look at the back of your handset for the first time, it may seem a little confusing trying to work out what the pictures mean in respect of their corresponding cables. It's actually quite simple, depending on how you're powering the phones. Starting from the far right, this is where your handset plugs into the unit. So just simply connect the two together with the supplied thinner cable, which is usually black. This one is for a headset and the same type of cable would be used. Depending on the headset type, you may have an adapter, in which case it will also plug into this port as well. You'll know it's this one because at the end of the cable, you'll have some pins. This larger port is where you connect the phone to your PC or laptop and the one next to it is known as the LAN port, which stands for Local Area Network and is used for putting the phone into your company network and also powering it if you've got what's known as a PoE switch, which stands for Power Over Ethernet. At the moment, you very likely have a cable that's plugged into your computer on one end and the other end of it will be connected to a port, either on the wall or in the floor, which gives you network and internet access. Remove the network cable from your computer's end and plug that into the network port on the phone. You'll temporarily lose internet access at this stage. Then, using the wider cable supplied in the box, plug one end into your computer and the other end into the PC port on the phone. Have a look at the phone screen. If it turned on, then you have power over Ethernet and it's fully set up. Your computer will also have internet access again. If it didn't turn on, then you'll need to use a separate plug to provide power and that simply connects to the small circular port. If you need this separate plug, it will have been provided to you. So chances are, if you don't have one, then you don't need it.